the French Quarter's always excited me. After you cross Rampart Street, get into the French Quarter, it's like going to another city because it was a different life than I would see where I was living. And I kind of liked what I saw. <laughs> But after I left school and went back home, I was 16, and there was no work in the country to do but housework for blacks. So when I became 18, I, I wanted to come here to work. So they let me come here, and I stayed with my aunt and got this job nowhere but the French Quarter. <laughs> They almost had a fit. That was unheard of, you know, this this little Creole girl of color working in a French Quarter. That was a no-no. But I went to work and I saw things in the French Quarters, met people that interested me, like Ricky Alvarez, the great artist, Louis Henry Hobbs, another great artist. And you meet people. And I think that's what made me like I'm a people person. I love people. I don't know, people in those days had class. And they did whatever they did, but I just enjoyed seeing them. I just enjoyed feeding them. I, I worked in this little restaurant. A woman taught me everything because I had no idea what to do. And my children and the people I talked to, they said, I don't believe you. I said, well, go back down to the Times Picayune and dig up those old papers and look at the want ads. This is the way they applied. Light skinned colored girl. That's the way they described what they wanted to work. I said, well, I'm not so light skinned, but I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> so I applied for that job and she hired me. We were not allowed in 1946 to serve white people in this restaurant. That was against the law, but we did. And the people knew we did. And we would wait to those tables. I was there with two other girls. Now listen to the ages we were. I was then 18. One girl was only 16. One girl was 19. We ran that floor, you hear me? I'll never forget, so I asked this chef, he was from Jamaica or somewhere, why don't they have women in here working in the kitchen? He said, well, because women can't pick up the pot. I thought to myself, well, I don't see you picking up those pots. I see I'm going to pick up the pots and wash them for you. <laughs> I'm picking up these pots, washing these pots and do them. Why can't I be a cook or why can't I be something else? But it was a learning experience for me in those days. I remember the Old View Carré restaurant. And that's when Brennan's came up. I used to pass that restaurant every day, coming from work. And in there, they had chairs. And I have chairs in my other dining room over there. I always wanted those chairs. And those chairs, I said, oh, I wish I had a restaurant with those chairs. <laughs> Never thinking I wish I could go in this restaurant. So I learned how to serve people, learned how to do things and learn to love the restaurant business. Mm -hmm.